Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Patek Philippe 5146-1J. 39mm, this annual calendar can be seen and purchased on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Patek Philippe annual calendar. Now, on my wrist, a 6 and a third inch is 16 centimeters in circumference. This is the same 5146 case size that we know and love, but with the bracelet, it has an entirely different fit, feel, and it's worth mentioning aesthetic character. 39 millimeters across the round of the case, that's from 9 to 3, not inclusive of the crown. The watch is nice and slim, as a Patek Philippe formal watch should be. 11 millimeters, you can also see how the nicely domed bezel allows a dress cuff or a tight sleeve to slide up easily. And you can also note that the bracelet protrudes just a bit beyond the ends of the lugs. So the lug-to-lug -lug measurement of this watch, effective as per the outer extremity of the bracelet links, becomes 49 millimeters across the wrist. So it does wear like a fairly large modern timepiece rather than a traditionally sized Patek Philippe, but it's the bracelet that changes the look, the fit, and the feel. It has incredible visual presence, serious visual impact all in polished yellow gold, and immense heft on the wrist. Eyes closed, this could easily be a 45 millimeter sports watch. Now, the bracelet is beautifully made, and it's an unusual look for Patek Philippe 5146 annual calendars. Yellow gold never went out of style at Patek Philippe, and while the yellow metal is being noted for its recent resurgence in new watch catalogs, Patek Philippe never abandoned it, and that's why perhaps Patek does it better than anyone else. Now you can see a Calatrava cross blazon clamshell secures the bracelet so it stays closed. Nice and secure on the wrist, it features double deployant action, which I like because it makes it easier to fit the watch to a smaller wrist. Well, mine is 16 centimeters in circumference. The handsome watch with its singular double fold deployant clasp and reasonably compact case dimensions also looks nicely proportioned and secure on a smaller wrist. I would say down to 14 and a half centimeters in circumference, you're going to wear this one with a great deal of security. And for those of you wondering why the inside of the clasp appears to be a white metal, rest assured it's 18 karat gold just like the rest of the watch, but it's 18 karat white gold being a little finer and thinner. Patek Philippe decided that the inner swing arm and chassis should be made of white gold because white gold is significantly harder than yellow and is better as a candidate for load bearing when it's being pared down to this framework that you see here. Now, you'll also note that the underside of the bracelet features large channels between the links that allow it to avoid pinching skin or pulling hair, so it's beautiful, but it's also ergonomically correct. Now, the watch features a traditional blended lug Calatrava type case, no crown guards. You'll also note that it features a nice distinct step between the bezel and the case flank. It has a little bit of case top expressed separate from the bezel. So there's is a nice strong character line that encircles the watch. The dial is what Patek Philippe describes as cream, so it's an off-white that nicely contrasts while also slightly complementing, one might say, the yellow gold of the applied indices, leaf style hands, bracelet, bezel, and case. Now there's a railroad track minutes track outboard, also serves as the seconds track, with small luminescent dots. Likewise, the minute and the hour hand are luminescent, so while this is a formal watch, it does have legibility in low or no light conditions. Of of course, all of the indices and numerals are applied, and the dial is nicely balanced with a vertical axis that starts at the 12, runs through the power reserve scale, the cannon pinion at center, the bosom style moon face, and the date at 6 o'clock. An annual calendar, this is a mechanism that Patek Philippe invented, originally patenting the annual calendar in 1996, the very first ever made. Now, on the back side, you can see that this watch represents the 5146 as it was manufactured between 2006, when the model debuted and 2009 when the Poinçon de Genève hallmark was phased out in favor of the interlocking double P Patek Philippe seal. This is also the caliber 315 that preceded the current 324. The 315 operates at 21,600 vibrations per hour in comparison to the 288 of the current movement, but it features the same unidirectional automatic winding, roughly 40 to 45 hour power reserve. The finishing standard for each is the highest possible. There was no degradation from one hallmark to the other, and of course it features 
use in this iteration the metallic hairspring, not the latter silicon, but on the Gyromax free sprung balance that is common to all Patek Philippe 315 and 324 calipers. That allows the watch to take a precise regulation and hold it firmly in the face of shocks, vibrations, and disruptions on the wrist. Of course, everything executed to the highest standard. There's an even and tight perlage across the base plate, mirrored anglage on the edge of each bridge as well as within the jewel sinks and the screw counter sinks. The screw heads themselves polished with chamfered slots. The finish is everything you would expect, and you can see at this oblique angle the reflection of the light across the Cote de Genève on the bridge and the circular Cote de Genève on the winding mass. You can see and you can purchase this Patek Philippe 5146 1J 18-karat yellow gold on full 18-karat yellow gold bracelet on our website.